Donald Trump as the Antichrist and America as Mystery Babylon. What do I think about that as a teaching? People would say that that's a possibility that, you know, what do you think that Donald Trump is the Antichrist? No, I do not. Just right up front. Donald Trump is not the Antichrist, but he is an Antichrist. Um, the devil has a, a way about him. Um, we're not, ignorant, not to be ignorant of his devices. And one of the things that the devil likes to do is he likes to kind of test the waters a little bit. He'll kind of put out a little feeler out there and um, see if uh, he'll see if something works before he'll implement his plan. And the Bible says that there are many antichrists. And of course, you study the the character of the antichrist in the Bible. It is definitely a man. It is not a system like the Reformed theology teaching says. And this man of sin, the son of perdition, has a lot of different characteristics. For, first, he is against Jesus Christ, which Donald Trump is against Jesus Christ. Blasphemes Jesus Christ. He sits in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. And Donald Trump, there's more and more things coming out. I saw something here recently where there was, somebody had this blasphemous poster of Jesus Christ and, and Jesus is there, you know, the, the, well, the antichrist, you know, Jesus. And he's got a thing over his ear, you know, <laughs> comparing Trump to Jesus Christ. Absolute total blasphemy. Very angering. And um, just, you know, what a disgusting thing to do. Comparing this uh, dirty pervert Trump with the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. Uh, how disgusting, how blasphemous, how vile. And um, of course, you know, I made my video saying that people, you know, shouldn't, uh, they shouldn't compare Trump to the Lord Jesus Christ because it could actually get, you know, make something bad happen to Trump because of, you know, what's what happened to King Herod. They said, it's, it's the voice of a God, not of a man. And, and God went boom and dropped Herod. But, um, you know, Trump's been wounded in the right, not in the right eye, but in the right ear. And now that's this big, oh, God spared him. Oh, you know, and everything. So, yeah, Trump has characteristics of the Antichrist. There's no question about that. But the whole world worshiping Trump? No. No. That's not about to happen at any time. The whole world is not going to worship Donald Trump. Not any way, you know, even imaginable. Um, and of course, you know, him controlling everything and whatever. Trump's not that smart of a man. He's an actor, you know, uh, indebted businessman, um, whatever. And as far as America being mystery Babylon, I hear that one a lot, you know, uh, come out of her, my people, you know, and, uh, and you'll, you know, America is Babylon, come out of Babylon and all this other stuff. Okay. I have a whole series of videos, which I will link at the end, on America is not Babylon. All right. Um, Babylon, first and foremost, read Revelation chapter 17. Babylon is a city. Last time I checked, America is not a city. Well, it's symbolically, no, it's not symbolically, it's a city. Okay. <laughs> Mystery Babylon is Vatican City, it's a city state. That's what it is. All right. Um, Anybody that teaches differently doesn't know the Bible. Um, Mystery Babylon, her colors are purple and scarlet. Purple, you have the archbishops. Scarlet, you have the cardinals. Um, there is no purple and scarlet coloring with America. It's the red, white, and blue. Um, Mystery Babylon is guilty of the martyrs and you know, shedding the blood of the martyrs and saints of Jesus Christ. America is not guilty of shedding the blood of martyrs and saints of Jesus Christ. Oh. Uh, and you say, well, there's some Christians that have been killed, and what about aborted babies or something? You know, people come up with all kinds of stuff. Um, even if America killed Christians, you say, well, they, the Civil War, there were, you know, wasps, white Anglo-Saxon Protestants that got killed, so some of them were probably saved, and so that's the blood. Of, you know, you come up with something like that. It pales. Even if you want to say Christian men that died in the wars, the useless wars that were fought for the bankers in this country, it still would pale in comparison to what the Roman Catholic Church did down through the centuries, killing, you know, heretics. Um, so, again, I have all the videos to prove it, going through all the scriptures, everything else. Um, so you can watch my studies on um, America is not Mystery Babylon. 
right? Don't put your, you know, don't show your stupidity and your ignorance down in the comments section um, for all the world to see. All right, uh, you need to do some study and some research and go and actually see the arguments that I use to destroy that whole myth of America being Mystery Babylon. America is not Mystery Babylon, okay? America does not reign over the kings of the earth, too, by the way. I might add that one. All right, uh, you see leaders, politicians, and things, they go to the Vatican to meet, you know, with the Pope. And they go and they have private audiences with the Pope and things. So, uh, yes, it's the Roman Catholic Church. They are the ones who control things um, in the international uh, sphere out there. Um, so, there's that. But here's my theory. Because this movement, this uh, false teaching is popular, I think that it will be used to great advantage in the future. You see, right now, prophetically speaking, I believe we are in the time that is called the beginning of sorrows, where you have wars and rumors of wars, um, pestilence, famine, earthquakes in diverse places. Although I will say this, I think we're in the very beginning of the beginning of sorrows. I think it's going to get a whole lot worse, which is why the, in the Pauline epistles, it says that perilous times shall come. All right, there will be perilous times coming. So you have the beginning of sorrows, which Jesus talks about in Matthew chapter 24. Uh, in the Pauline epistles, it says perilous times shall come. All right, um, and again, we're here for that time period doesn't have anything to do with the first of the seven seals that's being opened or something else uh, in the book of Revelation. No. Again, remember, always remember the book of Revelation, the revelation of Jesus Christ. If you're saved, you don't need Jesus revealed. Okay. Um, we're going to be caught up to be with him. All right. But the, who needs Jesus revealed to them? The nation of Israel. And the Jews require a sign, 1 Corinthians chapter 1. So the Jews are the ones that need to have the revelation, revelation of Jesus Christ brought to them. All right, That's the whole purpose of the Antichrist, coming as a false messiah. So my theory has been for many years, and I have a sermon on this, an older sermon, will the Great Tribulation happen before the time of Jacob's trouble? And understand the Great Tribulation um, is not a title for, for, for this time that's coming. Um, that's not correct. Uh, the, so I'm just kind of using this as a little play on words and things. Yeah, the distant thunder there. Um, it's actually in the evening right now. It's not in the morning. And uh, just got back from being at the office. A whole bunch of research today and answering people's comments and a bunch of other work I needed to get done. But what if the um, beginning of sorrows the perilous times that are coming, what if they are a time of great tribulation, which I believe that they will be? Luther, come on, get out of that. And always fun walking with a dog. I always get into something. Um, but what if this time is looks upon by people as the great tribulation? And they look over here at America and we have Donald Trump as the president and people say well there's the antichrist and then something happens during his presidency during his term or regime as i like to call it and uh, america falls america's destroyed and you know it could be some kind of a nuclear war type of a thing and in one hour america is destroyed just completely wiped out and then people would come out and they'd say look at that Mystery Babylon has fallen, has fallen. And, you know, the Antichrist is done, he's finished. You know, Donald Trump is the Antichrist and, and whatever. And it's this horrible, chaotic thing and whatever else. And in that time, the body of Christ is called up to be with the Lord. And right about that time, here comes the Christ. And he shows up and he says, my peace I leave with thee peace you know peace and he comes in peaceably and obtains the kingdom by flatteries and people go 
Jesus has returned. Oh, he's come at the right moment. Oh, and they go into the time of Jacob's trouble. That's my theory. Let me know what you think in the comment section below if you think that that will happen. Somewhat similar to that. Again, to review, try to condense a little bit more here. Donald Trump, mm -hmm. his regime is, is selected, not elected, selected. We're not really given a choice. He's selected, he comes in, and uh, during some things get really bad. At some point in time, America's wiped out and he's wiped out with them. Uh, maybe there's another assassination attempt on him or something like that. And this time he's actually wounded in the head. Um, maybe that's what they were trying for this last time and it didn't work out. Um, I don't know. But Trump comes to power. America gets destroyed in the midst of a real chaotic event. Catching up with the body of Christ happens. There's very few that leave. And then the Antichrist shows up and the time of Jacob's trouble gets started. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. And like I said, I'm going to put the links here at the end to the Mystery Babylon, American is not Babylon studies, and uh, some other things that it would be important for you to watch. Uh, if you're newly saved, you have to understand um, Bible-believing Christianity isn't just something, you know, it's a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, yes. Understanding, understanding that the King James Bible is God's perfect word, that's true. But it's going to take you a long time to study all of these different things. Um, this isn't some kind of a thing that you can just get it and, you know, fast food religion, you know, give it to me in five minutes or less. Um, you know, can I get fries with it or something? No. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but let me know what you think. Check out the videos here at the end and uh, we'll see you in upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching as always.